Okay guys, so we're here today with... I'm Nico from Dare to Game. Yeah, welcome to this uh, episode of the Bannerlord podcast. Thank you. Um, I'm glad to be here. Yeah, thank you so much. You're actually the biggest uh, YouTube profile guest that we have had here yet. So it's a really, really huge honor to have you here. Um, wow, first time I've ever heard that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, so we should just be good to go to jump in on the first question. Uh, have you play? Uh, have you been playing mm, Mountain Blade? And if so, for how long have you been playing it? Well, I've been playing Warlord for five or six years now, uh, and yeah. I've just recently got back into it. So I've been playing it a lot. A couple hundred hours the last couple of weeks. Oh yeah. yeah. If you would rate uh, the game um, 1 to 10, I know this isn't a question that was on the um, pa paper, but I just came up with it right now. Rate the what? game like 1 to 10, uh, if you could. Well, if I, if I was, uh, I, I'll give it 2. Okay, so if I was going to rate it based on the standards of the day it was released, yeah, like yeah. back then, based on those games, this is uh, this is honestly a 9. Oh, like that's... It's, it's a really good game based yeah. on those. By today's standards, six and a half, seven. Just because yeah. it's fallen behind, you know. It's an older game now, but yeah, it's yeah. still a really good game. Yeah. Okay, so... Um, um, if you would be... Um, oh, if you would have to tr uh, choose between a sword and an axe, what would you choose there? As much as I like swords, I love them. Yeah. I love how they look. I love yeah, the balance yeah. of them. I'm an axe man. In combat, I, I love the weight of an axe. Yeah. Uh, are you still preferring the axe over like a bow or or a crossbow? Uh, if I gotta go with ranged weapon or an all around, I do like bows. I'm I yeah, yeah. I prefer bows when it comes to range. Yeah. Uh, so what do you think is going to be the biggest problem yet to be solved when Banner Lord? is being released well with games like this it's yeah. got a big dynamic world we're looking at there's a whole lot going on so i expect some stuttering i expect yeah, yeah. performance glitches going like into battles and stuff I, yeah. I see that that might be an issue you know that might come up we might see yeah, yeah. stuff you know glitches performance glitches like that but i don't i think with the time that they're putting into this and the amount of work that we can clearly see i don't think we're gonna have too many game breaking issues no no uh because uh, at least from what I think. I haven't read it in a dev post yet, I guess, but I think that the map size is going to be a lot bigger than in the um, previous games. That's what it looks like to me. I think it looks yeah. quite a bit bigger. Yeah. Okay, great. So, if you would, um, if you just could choose between one part of Banner or to be like the uh, main or like the greatest point of it, what would it be and why? Well, the way I like to look at this one is, since I think Warband yeah. did what it did very well, I really like the open world sandbox, I liked yeah, all yeah, the, yeah. you know, the conquering, the army management, I liked all of that, so I'm very confident that they're going to do well. What yeah. I really would like to see improve is some, I would really like, I, I want it to be dynamic, I don't want it to be too linear, you know, I want it to still be dynamic, but I would like to yeah. see more storyline. So if you decide to side with the faction, I would like to see more than just, you know, build an army, take a castle. I would like to actually see some, you know, some more nuance in there. So yeah. if I had to pick one thing, it'd be... Oh, uh, yeah. are you still there? <laughs> Your voice disappeared for like five seconds. Can you please repeat what you said for the last 20 seconds or like 10 seconds, please? Oh, I stopped talking for a little bit there, but like I said, so yeah. if I was going to pick just one thing to improve on, it would be story. Okay, thank you so much. I think that, um, yeah, I think we're both having some problems with our internet connection, so that could be a little bit glitchy in some time, just for the viewers to, to know about. Um, and moving on to the next question, do you think that, that we can expect uh, Telewor Teleworlds Entertainment to keep up with this, the whole like eSport-ish thing? Uh, around Bannerlord as they have done with Warband. I think it makes a lot of sense. I think if they can manage to get 
their audience in on it as much as they were with Bannerlord. So if yeah, the yeah. community is as dedicated, I think it would make a lot of sense for them to uh, pursue esports like they did because it's just it's about money. It's dollars and cents at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. You can make a lot, you can market a lot. Esports is great for that. So if they can, I think they will. That's a good and fair point, I guess. Uh, okay, so have you gotten the picture uh, that I sent you? I'm just gonna yeah, put I'm it up for the right viewers now. too. Yeah, there you guys got it too. Uh, what did this picture like tell you? Does it tell you that it's soon to be released, or is it t telling you that oh we've got like ten years ahead of us, just waiting? I what think this it? looks pretty polished. Uh, yeah, the yeah. way I like to look at this is I compare it to the custom battle screen for Warband, and yeah. you can see that they're they're making it a lot more specific here. You can pick, I mean, in the other one you could pick, you know, what type of battle there was, open field siege assault and defense and then like three maps for each and you could kind of customize your troops but not very much here we're seeing a whole different you know it's basically the same screen but there's a lot more customization options they've got wall hit points they got you know the season you can pick they've it it looks pretty well done to me if i was judging solely from this i'd say we're not far off that's a good point uh I do share your point of view, but I would probably say that this is, can just be like another thing that they are sending out to make us think like, oh, it's uh, releasing soon. But I think that this can be like some mind f fucking thing that they are doing. Sorry for the, the, the language, gonna be just bleep that out. Uh, yeah, but I don't know. I, I could see that. I could see maybe this just being the. I think they might be getting a little worried since they announced this so long ago. Yeah, yeah. That, you know, I, 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 as a game developer, if I was doing this, I would say I'd be worried of alienating my fan base. You know, the hype bubble can only get so big yeah, before yeah. it'll pop and suddenly your interest is going to drop. So yeah. I think they're giving us just enough to keep us interested. That's a fair point. Uh, okay, so let's m move on to the last question, which is actually the question that we ha we are all asking all of our guests here. When do you think we can e expect Bannerlord to be released? Honestly? Now see, this is the optimist in me talking. Yeah. I, I, when other people say they don't think four or five years, you know, down the road, I'm like, God, I hope not. Honestly, <laughs> this was... Warband was released in 2010. They started yeah. work on Bannerlord in 2011 and they announced it in 2012. It's 2019 now. Yeah. I think honestly, based on how they're releasing the developers' blogs and how things are going, I, in my gut, it's telling me they're going to say something big at E3 2019. That's when we're going to hear something. I think they're going to tell us that they're going to release it either. I think they'll give us a release date then. Whether it's going to be this year or next year, I think next two years, tops. I hope you're right then. <laughs> uh, yeah. So thank you so much guys for watching this video. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.